guys, I just got in from shopping at Target for the launch of the Lily Pulitzer collection. Let me just say, I've never seen a site such as that. I waited in line for about 15 minutes. I got there at 7.45, and when the doors open, women just charge the store. I, I really just wanted to stand there with my mouth open because I just could not believe, I could not believe how some people were acting. I've never been like a, I go out on Black Friday, but I've never been like in line for doorbuster, like like a TV or something where people rush. Like I've seen YouTube videos of like Walmart chaos and like I've just never seen it firsthand and it was a little bit insane. I did manage to pick up everything that I wanted in store and I was able to snag a few things online last night. The one thing that I just wanted so badly that I was really nervous that I wasn't gonna get were the gold espadrille sandals, the women's sandals. They were an online only thing. I don't know why Target does that. I was able to get them. Hopefully they fit. We'll see, but I was ordered, able to order the, that online. And one of the little girl's dresses, the blue and pink with pom-poms, that was an online only, and the little girl's shoes, the gold sandals and the gold toe espadrilles. I ordered all of that stuff online. So I got very lucky there. I also was able to grab the navy pom-pom shorts online. I saw them in store today. I didn't see them on the rack. I saw some women had them in their cart, but I was able to order those online, so. That was really great. Some of the house stuff, the home decor, sold out instantly online, so I was able to find this stuff in store. Overall, I have to tell you that I think the quality of this collection is top notch. I have a blog post I'll put below. I just did like a wish list of the things that I wanted, and in that blog post I had mentioned that I don't own anything from Lily Pulitzer. There's not a store anywhere near me. None of the department stores near me carry the brand. Like I've just never been exposed to it. I've never been in a, in a Lily store. I've seen the stuff and I've always thought it was really bright and fun. Coming into summer and some vacations planned, it's so appropriate for that. I feel like then just for me to wear around my town in every day. So this was my first little taste, but from what I've seen online and I, from what I've heard, Lily Pulitzer is on the pricey side. So I could understand why people were so crazy. I feel like the price points were way low for this brand. I feel like they could have charged more and actually gotten more. Like the Missoni prices, I feel like they could have been around the same prices that Missoni charged, but I'm not complaining. Let me show you what I got. So I picked up the piece of hair in my mouth. I picked up these plates. They had a couple different sets, but these were the ones that I really wanted to get. And they're kind of like dessert or appetizer plates. I think they were around $35. And the reason I got these was because I picked up the Tracy Reese dessert plates back when they collaborated with Target and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I had gotten three sets of them so I would have a set of 12. Um, and I use them all the time for holidays, for entertaining. I love them as just putting out for dessert or appetizers. And I just think that this design is so fun on all the different plates. They have the gold trim around them. The plates that I have from Tracy Reese, the gold trim is still perfectly intact. I don't put them in the dishwasher, I just hand wash them. And I just love them. They're really fun and bright and colorful to put out when you're entertaining. Go with the plates, I also picked up these napkins and these, again, were sold out really quickly online. They have little pom-pom trim. The thing is, I wasn't so much for the prints, the Lily Pulitzer prints, than I was for all of the pom-pom detail. I kind of went through this phase last summer where I was just obsessed with pom-poms. I bought shorts and cover-ups and all this stuff, and I'm so happy to see that the trend is still um, relevant this season because I'm, I just love it. I'm just obsessed. So I just wanted to have these so badly, and they kind of, I think, would go so nice with the plates. Like when you have your girlfriends over for coffee or lunch or I don't even know, just for entertaining. They're just really pretty, really fun. I think these would be a really beautiful set too for like your patio, your outside patio or a nice little housewarming gift for someone if you have something coming up. But they're just really fun summery prints and I was so happy, Those, I grabbed the last one in store. These ladies, I feel like people just were grabbing everything and not even realizing what they were putting in their cart. Then there was like massive chaos at the fitting rooms because as people were coming out and putting stuff back, people were grabbing stuff off those racks. It was insane. I actually ran into a girl that I went to high school with. I had brought, I had bought two dresses and to try on two different sizes and I had the dress that I wasn't going to take and I said, hey, do you want 
to have this before I put it back. And before I even got the sentence out of my mouth, some other lady was like, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's just like insanity. But anyway, so that, and then I did get this pillow because I just love this print. This is the Nosy Posy print with pom-poms. And I got this for my bed actually, because my bed is a white, you can kind of see it. It's a white comforter. Actually, that's from Target too, the comforter set. And right now I just have very neutral white beige and gold and I thought this would be a nice little pop to my bedding for the spring and summer. And the last kind of houseware thing I got was this throw blanket. And they're calling this an outdoor throw but I'm gonna be using this inside. All of the blankets that I have right now are like the Sherpa, really fuzzy, really soft wintry blankets. And I really truly don't have a blanket to use for this time of year. I'm someone that loves to cuddle even when it's not winter. I just always have a blanket on when I'm sitting at the couch on the couch. So I thought this would be perfect and it has really pretty um, gold metallic detail. It also came in pink and then there's tassels and I just love neutrals for my house. So I got that. I was so like if I would have walked out with nothing more than that I would have been happier beyond belief. Okay. This was the other thing I could not get online. I wanted this so badly for myself. This is a shift dress, the hot pink shift dress. This is so fun. The quality of this, again, like I'm just so very impressed for Target. I'm not familiar with the Lily brand, but for Target, the, the quality, the material is awesome. Even though the exposed gold dipper, dipper, the exposed gold zipper has a little pineapple. I didn't even notice that until I was checking out and I put it on the belt and I just think that's adorable. I got this in a size two. It fits perfectly. It looks really good on. Very figure flattering. And you guys know I just had to get it for Addison too and I got this in a size 2T which actually is looking very large to me but I do think it'll fit her zipper on the back. doesn't go all the way down. It has a little bit of neon and again, the little pineapple. So this is what we're gonna be wearing on Mother's Day and I'm so excited, so, so excited. I also got her this shift dress. This was sold out online when I tried to get it last night. It's, I'm sorry that I don't know the prints. You guys probably know these better than I do, but it's blue and then it has this really pretty pink and then the exposed zipper at the back has pink lining. These were only $22. Like I just think that is insane. I think. Even dresses at Target normally that aren't this brand are more expensive than that. I'm just really surprised at the prices. I feel like they could have gotten a lot more, like I said. Then I got her this bikini, which I about died when I saw this online with the little pom-pom detail and little ruffles, so cute. I actually prefer to put her in one pieces because I'm a little bit of a nut when it comes to exposing her in the sun even for myself I just I need a tan so bad but I'm just so paranoid about anything so I don't like putting her in two pieces all that much but I did end up getting her the cover-up to go with it which is just freaking precious and it has again the pom-pom trim and I actually have a white pom-pom trim cover-up from Old Navy that I had last year they actually have it again in store if you're looking for something similar for you but this is again the nosy posy print and I just thought this is absolutely stinking adorable. You could even use this like as a tunic with some denim cutoffs or white shorts if you really wanted to. This again is a 2T but it looks pretty huge. But you know when you wash stuff it always tends to shrink so. Okay another little matching mommy and me thing was these pom pom shorts for her. Blue and pink the white pom pom trim. And they actually didn't have these in the women's size, so I went to the little girls section and I got them in an extra large and they fit beautifully. So now we have cute little matching shorts. And I know some people just think it's absolutely ridiculous to want to match your child, but when I was growing up, I loved matching my mom. And back then they didn't really have, I remember like a catalog my mom showed me from my baby book. It was like the oldest, oldest catalog of these mother-daughter outfits that were hideous so beyond hideous and we just could never find like I just remember telling her like I want to match you so when I think back to that I just I don't know I just, I just have always wanted to match with Addie and I know she won't want to when she gets older so I'm taking advantage now and then I didn't really have this on my list to get but when I saw it in store I was just so taken back by the quality of it that I just had to get it for her it's this little white eyelet top and it has this cute little 
bright pink button at the bottom. At the top, I mean, I'm sorry. And this is adorable. I love white, you guys know that, with some denim denim jeans. Really cute. Again, this looks really big, but the the, uh, the um, 18 months looked too small, so I figured if nothing more, she'll grow into it. So it's just a little tank. The last thing that I picked up is this romper for her. And I actually picked up another romper from Old Navy recently for her. From her for her. Very different style, but it was a one piece and it looked so cute on her. I just love I just love her little body in a in a romper. So I did get this. They had this in the women's size, but I didn't really like it that much. I did order beach pants online that are similar in print. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about them. I wanna see them on obviously, but um, they're very comfortable, like a nice lounge pant or for the beach or vacation. So those match, but I didn't get the actual size. One of my friends that I went with got this for her daughter and she also got it in the size for her. She really liked it. And this was $20. So that's everything that I got. The only other things I think that I can remember I ordered online besides the shoes was the white eyelet shorts in her size and in my size because we can never have enough white shorts for summer. And I think, I think that's everything. I think that's everything. That's all that I wanted to get. Oh, the one thing that I was kind of maybe wanting to order was the satin tunic. It was an online exclusive and it sold out right away, so I did not get that. I'm not really that bummed about it though. I feel very grateful for all that I was able to get considering the circumstances. The display that they had in the seasonal section with all the home decor things, like, I almost got trampled on. Like, it was, it was insanity. It was not like that at the Missoni launch. It, it was crazy. Clearly there are some pretty die-hard Lily Pulitzer fans. So this is really getting me excited about the brand now. I'm kind of curious to see what else they have. Like I said, it's not stuff that I think I would wear in the fall and winter, but for the spring, summer, for vacations and the beach, I think it's such a fun thing. And especially for someone like me that is so bland when it comes to my style, uh, or I should say my taste in clothing, very white, black, gray jeans, like... I don't really, I'm looking in my closet, I don't really have prints and I don't have bright colored things. So this is not typical for me, but I think it's a nice change. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave in the comments below everything you were able to pick up. I don't even know what is going on online if everything's sold out yet or not, but I can imagine this stuff is gonna go quickly. However, keep up with your targets because I am almost positive that there's gonna be tons of returns. So I'm sure stuff will be put back throughout the week, but I have no doubt that this collection was a massive success and will continue to fly off the shelves if the stores aren't already cleared out. So thanks for watching. Happy Sunday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.